Welcome back uh, to the channel, guys. So, my last video, you guys saw me do the unboxing of the GR Yaris. Um, I didn't want to film the whole process of me cutting it because it's it's pretty straightforward on how to cut it. But what I can show you is um, just what it looks like. Uh, I guess attached or what you I guess what you need to be cut or what needs to be cut from the main body. Um, so as you can see, what you need to cut from the front bumper. And I'm going to show just some of these parts that need to be cut off because just so you guys, uh, you know, if you guys are wondering. Uh, right, so the front bumper needs to look just like that. It's already cut out. You need to cut out the, the grill area here if you're using this, right? The 3D printed part, which is right here, right? Curl up front bumper grill. If you're using it, you need to cut it out. And what you do is... There's like a little lip here. I don't know if the camera because it's a weird angle. Um, but there's a, a small lip here, right? And it goes and it goes right into the groove there, on both sides. So you need to leave those there. That way, you can put this guy in. There's going to be a little bit of of a flex, but it like it clips in. I would still use 3M tape um, after you assemble it, or at least I would, anyways. <laughs> And uh, it's in this flex just a little bit here. There it is. I don't know if you can hear the little clip because it goes into it. So technically, essentially, right here, so you can see, right, I'm not holding it, right? It's like, it's on there. See that? But obviously, if you, like, you know, hit a guardrail while you're driving or somebody bumps you, it's going to, uh, with enough force, uh, yeah, it'll come off with enough force. Well, me doing little taps is not going to help. But if I give it a nice little boom when someone just comes in, hits you when you're on the track there it will come up so i would uh 3m tape on both ends but i'm just showing you again i'm just showing you what it would look like there's a bunch of more bunch of more other pieces that are like the headlights you guys know how to do headlights if you don't know how to do the headlights or how to stick them on uh, i have other videos of showing that i just want to show stuff like this because stuff like this is not common um the unique ones that i know that do this are 24k rc or if you know them as rc arlos um, that do the 3D, 3D printed parts like these at this quality and show you, uh, you know, technically what they what they look like. Um, the rear, I also wanted to show you the rear. Um, just so, that, just to save you trouble, you don't have to have this on there and then try to mount this part here. Because this, the wing, the wing is, is um, uh, right here. Rear spec rear wing that's this guy right here you don't need to have this on there and then try to match it because this has nothing to do with the main body as you can see it does it doesn't connect to the main body whatsoever it only connects to the rear separate bumper All right so it lines up here i already marked my holes and, and drilled them out um so i'm just going to show you guys All right it just lines up it, it has a nice little in like grooves there that go into this part here so it lines up it goes in there and holds its position pretty good like it's like no problem like it's it's like the quality right as you can see it's just perfectly lined up right on both sides so what i do is i just do what, what i'm doing right now and then i grab my my dremel which the one that i have is, is thin enough to tip is thin enough to go through here and mark that hole so i just put my finger right here and I just, just punch, punch in, like just, just, just poke it. That way after, when you take it off, you do it to all the five holes, of, of course, because it's five. You'll have the, in, like the little mark. And then you just come back after with the Dremel, which is what I did. And then I just slow, slowly making it just a little bit bigger. And then grab the screws, because it comes with the screws, right? It comes with everything, right? There's no... Um, where is it? It comes with everything. So it comes with the, the bag of screws right there. It comes with uh, the, the five. And then I just put the screws in with my little with my little uh, screwdriver uh, to line it up. I mean to fit the hole because I don't you don't want to make it too big, right? And then it's too loose. So it threads it and then it works perfectly. So that's how you line up the rear. On the main body, obviously, I was just doing fitment. So that's why you guys see all these magnets all around i was just doing fitment uh, on the main body let me get all these out of the way
uh, what you need to be you need to cut. Right again, if you watch my unboxing video, it shows you what how it looks like when it comes out of the box or out of the bag, I should say. I already threw everything out, so it, it, you, this is just this pretty much this is what you need to cut out. You need to cut this part of the back, as you can see, right? And you need to cut all this from the front, as you can see. Oh, I'm gonna leave that one out actually, right? As you can see, on both sides, right? That's what needs to cut out. You also need to cut out right here if you're if you're using the bottom skirt right the side skirt that mark of the door you see that oh maybe this angle there you go right there you need to cut that part off because then if you're running the side skirt this guy here right oh no wrong way it comes in from the inside so you can see the in groove right it comes in from the inside out right and it overlaps here so you see so this part here of your side skirt you need to cut that little teeny teeny little groove there just cut down like a little v-shape just a little v-shape just like that right because it's gonna sit right into this guy here so it's gonna sit inside right there just like that I don't know if the camera can pick it up. All right? And then it's going to go right behind it, and it's going to go all the way. And it's going to go right behind it, all, all the way to the front, and you just line it up with the lines. Of, as you can see the lines of the door right here, my pinky finger. Right here. So you line it up with the door. All right? And it lines up with the back, and so that perfect. Just like that. That's what that's going to look like if you do this, though, if you're doing the side skirt. Which, if you're doing the the rear fenders and the front fenders, it's uh, yeah, you need to. <laughs> so when you do the front front uh, front over fender, as you can see, that's what it, it look. It goes on just like that to the top here. There's no cutting of the the body. Well, yeah, the body, the main body doesn't need to be cut. You cut the over fender just to the size like that, as you can see. Um, let me show you this one that's already cut. Yeah. So you can see, it, I mean, this is just rough edges. I have to just, just, just shave it off with my knife. My knife is dull now, so I need to go to the store again. You knife just to clean it. But uh, yeah, but that's what it looks like, right? So you need to cut out this hole here. All right, if it doesn't already come cut. Um, my, mine already came pre-cut. Um, so like, I don't know if it needs to be pre-cut, but at least if it doesn't come pre-cut, if the one you get, at least now you know what you need to be cut out or what needs to be cut out. And it goes over... Um, it goes over the, the, the side skirt there, just like that, as you can see. All right, and then the rear, I'll do this side because it has the gas cap. It just goes right over, right? So again, this is why you need to run the side skirt if you're doing the over fender because, see what has that gap there? Well, this goes over it and it covers it nicely. And it perfectly lines it up. Oh, there you go. There's with the gas cap. You can see the the lines here. It goes with the door, the door line. And it lines up perfectly, just like that. All right, as you can see. I'm trying to hold it my best because you know obviously the body's flexing. And if I hold it tight here, then it flexes more down the back. So I'm just trying to hold it up. So, but you guys get the idea. All right, so that's what that looks like. All right, and then the, the, the like when the rear is here. All right, it just sits on the inside, just like that. Just line it up. All right, and then this just goes literally goes right on top, just like, just like that. All right, as you can see. So there's a bunch of other uh, parts to the to the body, obviously, that are three D printed. But you don't. Um, it, it speaks for itself. Uh, what you need, right? Like these ones here, uh, front fog lights. They just go on the front. 
fog lights, which, which is right here. You don't need to cut that out. You just got to do is mask it. Or if you want, you can cut it out. If, if you're going to cut it out, what I would use is the Dremel. Try to find the center as close as you can. And then just Dremel it to the size, right, of, of that hole. You know what I mean? If you plan to cut it or if you plan to just leave it so it looks like um, it gives it the look of a, of a film, right? Like a, like a glass over. Yeah, the glass of your of the lens, right, I should say. I think that's the right word. I'm trying to think of the right word. <laughs> because this one doesn't come with uh, lens captures, right? It just, it's just a hole like that, right? So, you know, like a light has the lens cap over it. So me personally, I'm going to leave it just so it sits there just like that. But... Again, it's up to your discretion. But stuff like this, I'm not going to show you because it's pretty straightforward. Um, like, and yeah, the head, headlights is straight, straightforward. It's not rocket science, right? The door hinges, they don't have any, it doesn't come with screws or nothing. So you just got to uh, use some 3M double-sided tape. Uh, the thin stuff is what I use. Um, this is what I have here. Right here. It's very thin, as you can see. All right, I'll just put the door hinge onto it and then just cut it out and then stick it on. Um, it'll hold. Um, obviously, it depends how hard people are hitting you or you, how hard you drive and how hard you're hitting walls. <laughs> uh, but they should hold, or you can use some glue. It's really your discretion. I don't want to tell you what glue to use just in case it ruins your body because um, I had never used glue before. So I've always used the 3M parts, and then, yeah, it always holds for me. Um, yeah, so other than that, that's uh, pretty much it to show you in this video. Um, I'm not going to show you me doing the painting process because this is going to be my, actually my next team body. Um, so this is going to go to my teammate. Um, he's going to paint it because he does the painting for the, uh, the team bodies, which you guys have seen the hidden and run livery. Um, he's got the colors. It's not a spray can. It's a, it's a paint mixture that he mixes. It's a special mixture. So it's not a rattle can. If it was rattle can, I would have done the bodies, but because it's not rattle can, he's doing it. Um, so yeah, so I'm just showing you guys this. So the next time you guys see uh, this one will be fully painted, and then I'll show you guys uh, fully assembled what I use. I'm still debating if I'm going to use um, uh, the screws or if I'm just going to uh, use my, my thin tape you just saw, three and double sided tape, and then just grab a black Sharpie and just mark the little dots, as you can see, to make it look like they're screws. Um, we'll see when it, when I get to that time, we'll, we'll see. I'm not a big fan of having the screws, so I'll probably just do the 3M double sided tape, but again, um, we'll see when it comes to that. So yeah, I oh, hope you guys enjoyed this little update on the GR. And if you guys have one, I'll give you a, you know, a little glimpse of what, what it looks like fully cut out and I'll see you guys on the, on the next one.